Hello, this is Dennis Fisher with Michigan Sugar. Uh, we've reached a point of the growing season where often we see some spots in, in areas in the fields or even whole fields that are uh, yellowing or maybe wilting and we're trying to figure out what's going on. Is it just a lack of soil moisture or is there some other sort of an issue, pest or disease that's causing um, these areas to sh show up? So if, in this field, we have an example over here. So we got uh, on the right, we got uh, an area that's getting wilted during the warmer portion of the day. Um, and getting droopy and then over here we got some a little bit of a yellow area as well uh, And where, then where I'm standing here, it's a little more green. So we got some stuff going on here We got some different color plants going on along with some drooping So the question becomes is that drooping and yellowing is it a true lack of soil moisture? or Is there something else going on? so dug up a plant from here. There's a few different things that can cause uh, yellowing or wilting even when there's adequate soil moisture so you could have um, some root disease and actually we do have a little bit of root disease here but nothing too major probably not causing much of an issue um, another problem can be uh, root aphids and that'll generally be a white waxy substance on the surface of the root or and the dirt surrounding the root we're not seeing any of that um, and that and this variety is a good tolerant variety for root aphids so we wouldn't expect that but what you can see in this on this bead is actually if we can get zoomed in here is right here we have some um, nematodes and there's really nothing we can do about those at this point in the growing season but it is good to diagnose them and know that you have them because there's there's no uh, curative treatment the only thing you can do with nematodes is plant a nematode tolerant variety you can also utilize radishes which will reduce nematode populations as well but in a situation like this um, this field is was not known to have nematodes we found nematodes so going forward in future years the next time this is sugar beets it should have a nematode variety planted in it going forward so keep an eye on these fields as you're out spraying you know if you see some wilting wilting things or yellowing areas maybe just um take a few minutes dig some plants up and see if you got something going on and maybe it's not a lack of soil moisture but there could be some other pest or disease causing a problem